Welcome back to the Metronome Madness League. We have 60 sleepers going up against Barty's Growlithe Pack in the last battle of round number eight. The Growlithe Pack on top of everything this season as they are undefeated 7-0. Sleepers looking to break that record. They start off with their Metagross going up against the Como O for the Growlithe Pack. Let's see who can start things off for us here. It's going to be the Como O. Como O going for a sure up. That's a bad start. Sure up, usually good to use, but you have to take damage first. So that's a bad move on the Growlithe Pack's part. Unfortunately, the bullet seed doesn't work because of the bullet proof ability on Como O. So a bad move for both sides. Como O gets another chance, and this time it goes for an icy wind. Icy wind will hit, of course, doing just a little bit of damage to the Metagross. Metagross. Of course, resist the ice type moves. See if we can do something else. This time it goes for a Fury Swipe, but it's avoided by the Como. Oh my gosh. It wasn't a strong move anyway, but I mean, you still expected it to land. And then, oh, that doesn't affect the Metacross. They're just not off to a great. Either of these teams, they can't damage each other, it seems. There go, oh, finally a move from the Metacross. Uh, and it doesn't do a lot of damage. Of course, the rock type move are not uh, the best to use against Como. -O. Como -O gonna go ahead this time with a spite. Doesn't do damage, but that could definitely give the Growlithe Pack a bit of an advantage, as now Metagross has much less PP in Metrodome than the other Pokemon. Here comes the Smart Strike, though. There, that's a stab move. Smart Strike against the Como. -O. That does a good amount of damage. Oh, but the Rocky Helmet does damage as well. You got to give it to the Growlithe Pack. Not only did they draft a good set of Pokemon, they also were able to use good items on them. That Rocky Helmet definitely gives them a bit of an advantage. The Quick Attack, not very effective against the Metagross. Takes that hit with ease. Metagross going to have to avoid those physical moves. And it doesn't, as it uses a Nuzzle. Now, that will barely do any damage. And... Paralyzed the Como O, but the Rocky Helmet actually did more damage to Metagross than it was managing to do against the Como O. Pretty bad move. It does get the move first now after Como O is paralyzed, and a soft boil is a good move. This is the time to use a healing move, and Metagross gonna recover that damage is taken. If you're enjoying the battle so far, make sure you hit that subscribe button and like for more of the Metro Madness League, and of course. I'd like to give a special thanks to my patrons for supporting me and the channel. Let's jump back into the battle here with a Poison Fang coming from the Metagross. Of course, Como already paralyzed. It can't be Poison. The Rocky Helmet doing more damage. They've really got to avoid those physical moves, and they haven't been doing it so far. The Parabolic Charge now from Como. There it goes. Como getting a bit of uh, itself back. Metagross, it's about even. Metagross taking more damage uh, from the Rocky Helmet last turn. There goes Metagross now again. Will it use a special move? This time it goes for a substitute. Interesting. It's going to cut its own HP, though, and put out that substitute. Metagross trying to avoid taking damage. Not a bad idea. It could help them out. We'll see what happens in the future. Como is going to use the Cosmic Power. That's going to raise his stats right here. Going to raise his defense and special defense. Making it even harder to take out. Sleepers haven't been able to do that much damage, and that defense boost could be detrimental. Here we go. The uh, taunt comes out from the Metagross. There, that's one way to do it. It's going to taunt, and that's going to force Koma O to use Struggle. Struggle is going to go against the substitute, so not damaging the Metagross at all, as the substitute will take the damage. And Como O will hurt itself. At this point, Metagross really wants to avoid those physical moves. Goes for a Rock Slide. That, not a bad idea. That doesn't make physical contact. Rock Slide, not going to do a whole lot of damage. But at least the Rocky Helmet does not come into play. And Como is going to have to go for the struggle. Of course, that hits the substitute, which will stay in play. And the next struggle will take out the Como without Metagross taking any damage. Great play by the Sleepers. Here comes the Metagross now. Again, needs to avoid those physical moves. It's going to go for Beat Up, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. Beat Up's going to hit three times. 
does it take it only takes damage once it only takes damage once okay thought it might take uh damage from that rocky helmet each time but it doesn't seem like it did actually it doesn't seem like it took any damage from the rocky helmet isn't beat up uh a physical move i thought it would have been no rocky helmet damage and como goes down to struggling okay it worked out in their favor so the sleepers pass the first pokemon on the growler pack now the zygarde is out on the field You know, Zygarde's gonna go first. You have to play things right with the Zygarde. There goes the Rock, uh, the Rock Slide against the Metagross. Not doing a whole lot of damage, but it was a crit. Metagross flinches from the Rock Slide. Definitely not what the Sleepers want to see. As Zygarde gets another chance. Now with Zygarde, you really it, it's it's hard to say what you want to do because putting it at half health will bring out the 100%. There goes the fusion flare. Metagross takes a ton of damage. This is super effective, and that is done. Metagross made some good plays. Fortunately, could not live up against the Zygarde. Now Reggie Gigas is going to come out for the sleepers. Now I know there's been some complaints about the slow start on Reggie Gigas, and if you look at it, Regigigas against the Zygarde is an even matchup. The uh, drop that Regigigas takes in attack and speed puts it at about the same level as Zygarde is at 50%. So they are still about even. And then after the slow start, it will be about even with the 100% Zygarde. So everything looks pretty good. That was a Dazzling Gleam doing a good amount of damage. If Regigigas was smart, though, it will not do too much damage to that Zygarde. You don't want it to go to 100% before the slow start ends. We'll see if they can actually manage that. There goes the Grass Pledge. Zygarde's going to restore some health with the Shell Bell as well. Reg Regigigas just go again, this time with the Rock Tomb. That's not very effective, but will lower Zygarde's speed, and that might be the play. Here we go. Zygarde's speed falls. I doubt Regigigas will be faster, but it might after its slow start ends. Here we go. There goes the Zygarde. Stuffed cheeks. No berry. So that's going to fail. Regigigas gets the free move. There it goes. This time it goes for a Volt Switch. It does not affect the Zygarde, so it does not get to switch out. Probably would have been a bad idea to switch anyway. Zygarde. Going for another attack. This time the Hammer Arm. Hammer arm, super effective. Reggie Gigas takes a huge hit. Not what they wanted to see. Zygarde lose a bit more speed and gains health from his shell bell. There was the berry for the Reggie Gigas. It's going to raise its speed up. So Reggie Gigas is going to be even faster. Here we go. There goes the stomp. And that is a stab move. Zygarde approaching the halfway mark. Not quite there. They did not want that Reggie to be at this low of health. That that hammer arm was detrimental. There goes the Solar Blade. Actually, I think when the Solar Blade hits, its slow start's going to end. And so that's going to be a maximum attack Solar Blade. That's pretty good. There goes the Icy Wind from the Zygarde. Icy Wind putting Reggie Gigas in the red. Also slowing it down. Gonna have to do something big here. Yes, Reggie Gigas gets his act together. So maximum attack as this Solar Blade is going to land. Here it goes. And that's what they wanted to see. There goes the Solar Blade against the Zygarde. Oh, a ton of damage. Zygarde almost in the red. That was an excellent play from the Sleepers making use of their Reggie Gigas. There goes the Terrain Pulse. Ooh, Reggie Gigas is at pretty low health. And oh, it lives with four HP. Now's their chance. But Zygarde gets the power construct right now. So Zygarde 100%. Its perfect form has come out as Zygarde gets back into the green. And that's their advantage. They do gain health back after they after they do that transformation. Reggie Gigas, though, gets, gets to go. If they use a physical move, you know what? The Hyper Beam would have been great. There goes the Water Pulse, though. That's a special move, so not gonna do that much damage no confusion on it Zygar gets the attack this time with the grass knot and that's gonna be it for the Reggie Gigas they, they played it well unfortunately uh, I believe the hammer arm is what actually 
uh, what actually did things wrong for them there. If they didn't take so much damage from the hammer arm, they might have been good. Although Grass Knot with something as heavy as Regigigas would have done a lot of damage as well. The last Pokemon out on the sleepers is going to be Gudra. Gudra has to take care of this Zygarde. Good. Start with the Minimize. Not a bad idea. Raising his evasiveness. Got to take out the Zygarde and the last Pokemon out for the sleepers. Still possible for them. It's going to go for a Rock Blast. Rock Blast. Hits twice. Only two times. Only doing a little damage to that Gudra. They really got to get rid of the Zygarde quickly. The Shell Bell adding more health to him. If they don't do something soon, this could be bad. There goes the Gyro Ball. That's not going to do a lot. No, Gyro Ball barely doing any damage to that Zygarde. Pretty bad move, but... Oh, Zygarde goes for a Splash. I guess they're having fun out there. Nothing's going to happen. That gives the Sleepers a free turn. Here comes the Gudra now. As it goes for an Encore, that's going to fail. There's only one move used in this uh, in this league, and that's Metronome. So, no need for an Encore. There goes the Bug Buzz. Bug Buzz doing a decent amount, considering. They really got to get their act together and figure out something to damage the Zygarde. The more they miss or they don't attack, the more health Zygarde gets back. There goes the Eruption. Eruption, not a bad idea. Only does a little bit of damage. It's not very effective. Zygarde going for the Fissure. Will that land? Oh, it doesn't. That could have just ended the battle right there. Gudra. A little bit nervous after that attempt as goes for the Icicle Spear. Now, that's a pretty good move for them to use. Icicle Spear. Going to hit more than once. It's super effective. Zygarde. Oh, if only they hit three times. Zygarde in the red, though. And here we go. Zygarde gets to attack. This time it goes for Glaciate. That's going to be super effective against Gudra. Glaciate doing the damage. Gudra at 73 HP. Also, it loses some speed. Zygarde almost was knocked out. If only they could have gotten that Icicle Spear for a third time, they would have taken it out. Giving them a better chance. Gudra going to go for the Reflect type. Inter interesting choice. So it's going to share the typings with Zygarde. But Zygarde goes for a Seed Bomb. It would have been better if they didn't use Reflect type. Now that Seed Bomb was neutral, putting Gudra in the red. Sleepers thought it would help them, but at the end of the day, the Growler Pack were able to turn that around on them and use a neutral move, which would have been resisted before. There goes the Sweet Kiss. They're doing everything they can to try and get rid of the Zygarde, but it's not looking good. Growler Pack still have another Pokemon. Zygarde is confused. It, it breaks through the confusion, and it will attack this turn. This time it goes for a Thunder. That does not affect the Gudra because of the Reflect type. So at least it worked for them there. And Scrooger gets another chance to attack. This time it's going to go for a Stun Spore. So it's confused and paralyzed. And pulling up uh, out the hacks here. Sleepers. Doing everything they can. It's still a chance. Oh, but Zygarde will struggle, and that's enough. Struggle takes out the Gudra. Sleepers will lose this, even though Zygarde goes down here. Doesn't matter. The Growler Pack have one more Pokemon. And they remain undefeated. My goodness. They are 8 0. The Sleepers, unfortunately, losing that. They go down to 3 and 5. It's not over for them yet. Sleepers definitely have some potential. We'll have to see what they can do in the future. If you enjoyed the battle, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more of the Metro Madness League. And of course, I will catch you next time.